Welcome and welcome back to Maison de Chatillon. Today's video is going to be all about how to respond when you are being accused of being a snob or pretentious for your personal interests. You know, if people are using that as an insult against you, how to respond to that if you even want to. Nobody likes to be insulted. But this is a really specific type of insult that we need to get into. We need to talk about it a little bit in detail and that's what we're going to be doing. Before I begin, welcome to all of the new subscribers coming over from Oshino Mali channel. If you've missed it, we have a new live stream video up on his channel with his friend Dirk Kennedy. I'm going to be putting the link down in the description, of course. It was a bit entertaining, so it's worth the watch. Yes. All right, well, let's not waste any more time. Before I talk about how to respond, because my opinion on that may be a little bit harsh for you if you are a gentle soul, and I am, I am, but I also have to rein in my toughness. I don't know if I would call it toughness, but I'm a bit rough around the edges, and you may not assume so by my presence on my channel, but of course, you know, it's easy to put my best foot forward on my channel. Let's talk about the word pretentious because the dictionary describes pretentious as attempting to affect greater importance, knowledge, culture than what is actually possessed by the individual. And that is a very important and key thing to note because people use that word all of the time. Let's say you go to someone like Hugo Jacome. He is the creator of the Parisian gentleman or le gentilhomme parisien, I might be called or assumed to be a snob or pretentious simply for saying the name properly, the traditional name for the book, right? This is just what people do. Anyway, side note, Hugo in his videos. So let me define quickly what is the British style and then I will define what is the French style. Tutorial talks, he's brilliant. His wife Sonia's brilliant and they talk about style as they know it. This is something they study. This is his life's work. So this man knows what he's talking about. Sometimes you may see somebody like that sitting in his suit telling a man that he really needs to up his game with his style. He really needs to get a suit. It needs to fit right. His shirts need to stop looking sloppy. So many things in all of his glory, in his poise. And one may look at him and roll their eyes and say that is just a pretentious snob. Okay, it's very easy to do that. It's very easy to make that judgment. But Hugo Giacome is not pretentious. He very much lives up to and completely fulfills the appearance that he gives off of being knowledgeable, being cultured, being important. He is a significant person. He doesn't need to be humbled. That word does not work because it's not true. The definition of pretentious is not, I think you are stuck up. And that's what people are using it for. If you like to be a little petty, which I can enjoy here and there, I'm not gonna lie. So I would respond to somebody and say, if you're going to insult me, at least do it properly because I'm not pretentious. I am knowledgeable about what I'm talking about. That kind of thing makes people mad. And honestly, they often will not respond or know how to respond because they were trying to make you look stupid and they were just made to look stupid in such a simple way. Know-it-alls tend to be pretentious. Like, they just always have to have some kind of commentary on every single cultural thing and political thing when you know they don't know what they're talking about. That is way more pretentious than somebody who wants to live a more elegant, sophisticated lifestyle or someone who's into nice wine, timepieces, maybe they're into really nice cars, maybe they're into Ojo Lorraine, and that's what they do, and that's their brand, and that's real. That's not pretentious. That's called a passion. You ever heard of it? It doesn't mean that in those cases there are there's no desire to get any validation from other people. It doesn't mean that, you know, we don't appreciate, people don't appreciate commentary, likes, and all of that stuff on what they do and what they say about the things they know and they're interested in, their hobbies and the things they have, the material possessions they have. But it's not pretentious if it's legitimately real. In real life, you may see it in cases where you have a coworker or I don't know, someone who's jealous of you, sister-in-law, maybe a friend, a fake friend, an acquaintance, and they always have these passive aggressive comments and remarks to make to you. They just always seem to have an issue with it. And that to me stems from a lack of 
personal significance these people have because the only person that can truly grant you significance is yourself. You can only grant yourself the work that it takes to achieve goals, to achieve success. Nobody can take that away from you and people will be mad about it because they didn't do that for themselves. And then they have this narrative that they tell themselves that I can't do it, it doesn't work for me. When you think about it though, what's really happening is you begin on the journey and you are immediately exhausted and overwhelmed about how far of a path you have to take to get to where you want to go. And that will make people give up. And that will actually stop people from beginning that journey in the first place. Just like a lot of people will give you hate if you have a YouTube channel. And sometimes people have criticism that may be legitimate, but most of the time it's not. They're just trying to trip you up or they're just trying to say something to upset you, to bring you down. And the only reason why is because they don't have anything like that going for themselves and they're jealous they may not be jealous of your looks they may not be jealous of your money but they're jealous of the significance that you've given yourself now how do we measure significance well darlings that's another video so you've got my petty response to the pretentious comment but let's say they don't call you pretentious let's say they just call you a snob or they say you're full of yourself you know i had somebody reach out to me that i used to know many many years ago and we used to be kind of friends but we weren't ever close ever and her and i had not spoken for seven eight to ten years time and this person reached out to me after i had started this youtube channel and they said i'm so disappointed in you you've changed you were so sweet and nice before and now you're mean and you're telling women who they need to be and how they need to be and it's like oppressive and all this stuff. That's just a very specific example but the way I responded to this person is it's really funny how you don't have a relationship with me, you, we're not friends, we don't talk and as soon as I'm doing something for myself that is different than what you're doing for your life and it has to do with elevating yourself and it has to do with improving yourself and your style and all of this based on my humble opinions then you attack me and you tell me i'm mean i'm this i'm that it's just really funny to me how you never cared or had any interest in saying one word to me when i wasn't doing this so as you can see i enjoy well enjoy maybe a stretch but i appreciate calling people out for it because who are you to say this to me? You know, what's really interesting in this day and age is that everyone pushes this message that you should be yourself. You should be yourself, express yourself, be free, be your true self, right? But then when you are being yourself, which happens to be someone who has an interest in learning, craving for nicer things, a craving for experiencing things that maybe you can only achieve through success if you care about wearing beautiful garments and nice fabrics and covering your one body in your one simple single short lifetime in beautiful garments and you want to just be beautiful you want to be poised classy receive respect no matter where you go because you're poised and you have no etiquette and you know manners you know that is not okay if that's who you are. It's not okay to express yourself if you are into nice things. But that's exactly how a lot of people try to make people like us feel. I don't think I'm better than you. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I'm simply attempting to always be a better person than my own self. Of course it's okay to be loud and obnoxious and laugh and not be respectful and follow rules and establishments in public, not respect other people's peace. It's okay when we do it, not when you do it. I don't agree with that and I don't care. That's another way you need to respond. You need to learn not to care what they think. I've lost friends from beginning this YouTube channel. That has caused friendships to end in my life. Good riddance. You don't understand me. You don't even ask to understand me and try to learn. If you have a concern, you can talk to me about it. But I just think writing me off as some kind of bad person just because I like nice things is so funny. And I think that's not a very good person, really. That's not a very good friend. I'm supposed to respect everybody else's preferences and desires and 
no one has to respect mine i see how it is so if i have to be a lone wolf then so be it and i want you to adopt this mindset please to apply in your situation if people are looking down on you for being a snob and they're giving you a hard time learn to love your own company and your own solitude i promise you eventually if you keep your values where they are you keep at your hobbies you keep at your passions despite people looking down on you there will be people that appear in your life who understand and they appreciate it it will happen they're going to be rare depending on where you live but most likely they're going to be rare and that's good that's fine you don't need to be a hoarder of people well it's filling up your mind with unnecessary people's thoughts opinions and things that don't help you they don't direct you in any direction you really want to go right if you really just feel hurt by what they're saying my recommendation is to not respond to them and i've said this before in my other videos but i will repeat it again because it stands true it rings true do not engage with people like that who are either trolling you just messing with you just to upset you or if they are just honestly legitimately being hurtful because they're so mad at you for what you're doing and what you have don't respond to them because they are so bored and they are sitting and checking their phone or their computer or if it's in real life, standing there staring at you like, hey, how do you feel about what I just said? Did it get to you? Did it get to you? And on their phone, they're checking. They're checking all the time. They're seeing if you responded and you didn't. And that's a win for you. You know how many rude, mean things people that are politically correct do and say all the time because the correctness has turned from politeness to a one-sided viewpoint on how things should be and how we need to think otherwise we're bigots or bad people it's just nonsense you really have to separate yourself from caring about the opinions of these people who are just unhappy with themselves and they don't like to see you do well let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've ever experienced something like this if you've been called mean names for liking nice things or having a more i don't know a little more of a, an elegant lifestyle please let me know what happened and let me know how you handled it. Once again, I appreciate all of my new subscribers. And of course, I will see you all in the next video.